Hello, Auntie and Marty Girl here. I'm sorry for about the lack of updates. I mean, well, I've had a lot of lack of updates, but a lot's been going on is that my landlords are evicting me. The thing is that legally, they can't raise the rent more than once per year, and they want to raise the rent again, so it's pretty much, well, we want to raise the rent again, so we're getting rid of you. But along with that, so pretty much, I'm going to try to make as many doll clothes as I can, try to make some videos, but probably by the end of this year definitely you're gonna see a different backdrop um gosh what else I gotta say I forget but oh yeah oh yeah um I'm having a sale on my Etsy shop for 25 percent off all items you can see the link in I'll link to it in the description but also my Etsy shop notification page my Facebook page my Twitter page I have the link the information all that good stuff there Okay, all that bad stuff out of the way, let's try to get into the dress here. This is like a cute little 30s, 40s, maybe even 50s little doll dress. I just love this little frog print. It has some glitter on it. I used a vintage Rick Rack. I don't really know how well this glitter's going to show up, but I just love these happy little frogs. They're just so darn cute. It fell, the dress fell across at the back. I also have a little ribbon rosette there. The, the sleeves don't really kind of want to puff up that much, but they can. And let's get to the back of the dress. And here we go again. It's that I was ready to film the back of the dress. My camera died, and I thought, well, if the battery's dying isn't a metaphor, I don't know what is. But anyways, uh, here we had the back. It closes up the back with Velcro. I have these nice long ties there. This should fit the older Pleasant Company style dolls. This one's a Mattel. You can by the little gaps there. I had the Rick Rack going all the way around. It's uh, yeah, I think that should do it. So I'll keep everyone updated with that. I'll try and post as many doll dresses as possible between now and by the time I'm kicked out. And best thing I can think of is what advice to that is just know your rights as a tenant. It's like look into your city rights or state rights and talk to a lawyer if necessary which I have done so we shall see what happens so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time